Hi, I'm Tatiana. Welcome to 10 Minute Tasks. In today's video, I'm going to talk about five reasons why your house is messy. And this isn't to shame you or make you feel guilty. This is simply to state what is and why your house might be messy. And so you can accept it and ask for help if you need to, or get to work and start cleaning and organizing your home. You know, when we're living in our home, we get it messy every day and that's part of life. And so there's no reason to be so hard on yourself. However, when it does seem to get hard on yourself and the mess is starting to feel like weight and you're not in your flow, maybe you might want to step it up in the cleaning or organizing game so that you can have a little bit more clarity and focus on you what you really want to do with your life. With all of that said, let's get into number one. One reason why your home might be messy is because you have too much stuff. So we just this is something that we constantly have to go through. We always buy things or receive things into our home. People give us gifts. I got inspired to buy clothes yesterday. I bought multiple pieces and brought them into my home. Now I have to go through my closet and look at the items in my closet and ask myself, am I really using this? And if I haven't been using it, I would say within a year, some people say six months, however you feel comfortable, but if you haven't been using that one specific thing within a year, what happens is it just becomes stagnant. It's a stagnant energy that is blocking you from living your life. Anything that you have, be sure to touch it. And what this does is it brings this energy to that specific thing so it's not stagnant and then it's not blocking your flow of life so for example um, i have this plant right here sometimes i neglect this plant that's why it doesn't have any orchids but it, it's still i think it's beautiful because of the green leaves but sometimes i neglect it so i need to go to it talk to it put some ice cubes on it or refresh the dirt. There's things that I can do to bring this into life and not a stagnant energy that's blocking my flow. Coming back to just looking at all of the things in your house, making sure that they are touched within the year and brought attention to, and if not, get rid of them. You can sell them and you can donate it. So if you find a cause, you know, or something that would actually need that, that's great because they're using that specific item. They're bringing energy to that item. It's not an energy block for them. Or just be real with yourself. You might need to throw it away or recycle it. So number two, another reason why your home is messy is because you have a child. So I'm a toddler mom and my toddler is like a little tornado who goes into the house and messes up everything he touches. But that's okay, we have cleanup songs and things to make it a little more neat in the house. That's just part of life. He's still learning where things go and how to play with things and how to eat and not throw things on the ground. So I just have to accept it as it's always going to happen because we live here in the house. However, at times I do need a reset time for myself. And so my husband goes out on a walk with our son and he takes him for an hour or two so I can reset the house and I put everything away that I can or I'll start a load of laundry or start the dishes or something like that. I'm in my pantry right now because the dishwasher is running. It's very loud. My toddler is sleeping in one room and then my husband is working on his laptop in the other room so the third reason why your house is messy is because you might have pets and with pets they are like children they make messes everywhere they go and if you have a pet with 
fur that's not hypoallergenic, then anytime they move, little hairs go up into the air and settle somewhere. Pets require a lot more cleaning and that's probably why your house is messy. Number four is your house is probably messy because you don't have a cleaning routine. Well, for example, I do a reset cleaning at least once a day that takes me about an hour. And it helps me feel like my place is pretty clean. It feels like it's manageable and it's not overwhelming. And then I can do the deep cleanings about once a month. Some days I miss because I simply don't want to do any cleaning at all and I get lazy, I get moody, I feel like, oh, I'll get it tomorrow, I'll get it tomorrow, and each day is stacking up of things that I need to do. And then all of a sudden I get a burst of energy and then clean like crazy for four or five hours so I get all caught up. But that's just my style and you may have a cleaning routine that you're religious about and you do every single day. Like do you do your laundry every day or you do your dishes every day? You make your bed every day. If you're like that, congratulations to you. That's awesome. You know, how do you feel about your cleaning routine? You know, leave a comment down below. So number five, your house is probably messy because you're not receiving help. And just be honest with yourself. If the cleaning and organizing becomes overwhelming so much that you're unmotivated to do what you need to do, you might be dipping into a depression. Try to do it too much too. Some people work, you know, 40, 50, 60 hours a week and come home and the last thing they want to do is clean. Whatever it is, at whatever stage you are in life, just be real with yourself. Do you need help? There are websites that help you book a cleaner or an organizer. I have used uh, apps like Thumbtack because cleaning and organizing your house is important. It's something that if you don't take care of, over time, it can really make you sick. It can make other people in your household sick. Take it seriously. However, don't get stressed out. And if you feel overwhelmed, just be real with yourself and ask for help. Anyway, that's all I've got for this video. If you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Bye.